Hello gamers! Welcome to episode 27 of my Imperial Difficulty Let's Play series for Airships Conquer the Skies. In the last episode, we beefed up our defenses in our towns, and in this episode, I think we start positioning our ships for the eventual war. No would like an alliance? I think we're going to turn that down, but I'm going to wait to do that. First, I think we will go ahead and unpause and let our towns continue their defensive building or building of defenses. We've going into face off against some pirates here. Uh, we will go ahead and start. And I think we'll start by taking direct control of the golem. Now, what we have to worry about with pirates is boarding and we don't really have too many defenses on this ship against borders I think so we're just gonna have to be cautious and uh, try to fight as best as we can so here we go we're gonna start backing up we've got Gatling guns on this ship which is nice it should do a fair amount of damage. And it's doing damage alright. Don't want to get too close to that border ship. Don't like getting cornered here. Okay, I think we have to flee because these pirates probably are too much for us. So we're going to go ahead and flee. Okay. Alright, we will return this ship back to a menace. It's a little too much for us, I think. Okay. The wrecker can move to here. In Thulu, we've got the pancake, which I'm not sure where we're going to move that. This flute is okay. I guess we'll move the pancake up to that town there. Got two marine ships here in Catbridge, which I think we're gonna move over to here. I thought we had a massive fleet somewhere. Was that in Zim? That was in Zim. And I think we're going to separate this out a little more. So let's take the lion den, perhaps the puma. Let's see how far we can go if we eliminate more of the escorts here. So it looks like maybe we can get as far as Zangor. Only enough to get there. And we're going to gradually start moving this fleet westward. This fleet at Clan Boomer is ready to go. So we're going to send the Red Devil and the Blue Devil over to, I think, to Quagrim. Only enough to get there. This fleet in Quagrim, I think the Eagle Nest and the Tricycle can go to Netacar.
The land ships, since they have to go on these roads, I think we want to position them sort of close to the front. Where are these guys going? Take them five months to get to, it looks like the Grey Dragons, perhaps? We now have Wasp Killer Marines, which we may want to actually build something like that. Uh, let's go with Clockwork Hussars and Computer, sure. Okay, let's see. Let's pause briefly. In Zybar, we've got a fairly decent fleet. I think we want to refit our Grenadier ships though to Lightnings. Make them a little bit more lethal. Alright, 461 to refit this. We will go ahead and refit it. Refit the pirate as well. And the privateer. All as lightnings. <clears throat> okay, that's not bad. This could use some. Uh, another marine ship, so maybe we actually build another one. Hmm. Let's take a look at what No has over here. Looks like a pretty massive ship with a lot of guns. This will be a tough fight. Let's go ahead and foment unrest maybe or maybe we can go let's go foment unrest all right we've successful nice and then let's see I think I think we want to send the marine ship this one the claw over to Bar Bardoom. Only enough to get there. And here in Zybar, or maybe in Madisgar, Madisgar is building the crab, but let's design, let's build a ship. Let's actually design a ship. Open design. We will go with the Hawkeye Marine steel and instead of marine barracks why don't we put in the new ones the wasp killers either the wasp killer marines let's see they have to be vertically dropped vertically on the target ship let's see they get two wasp killer marines they have 20 HP and 3 piercing damage 5 HP and 4 piercing damage hold on how much better are these that's the question I have well each wash Marine marine is interesting well, the Grenadiers are interesting too. They have six and they can grapple, which is pretty interesting. There's four of them though. So total damage, total HP, I guess is 24 versus. Forty here, I think, and these are 40 as well. So 
I don't know, I'm not sure if Grenadiers are that much better, but... Oh, uh, why not give it a try? Oh, actually, they're smaller, too. They don't take up as much space. Hmm. So, if I were to do... Let's see, how much for the Grenadiers? So, Grenadiers about the same amount of space but the wasp killers you could have a lot more of them this is quite a bit more expensive though speed is good service ceiling is not bad service ceiling could be higher though but you know, let's do the let's save this design. I'm halfway tempted to in fact do something like this, which eh, you know, I kinda like it. Yeah, why not? Why not have a full, full, uh, <laughs> a full balloon? Why not? And then we'll strut it up. Something like this. Like so. And then we'll shut all this down here. So we'll do a, actually wrong one. We want something like this. Like so. Yeah, this looks not bad. This is acceptable. I'll save this design as the Hawkeye Wasp Killer. Save. Let's build it. Oh, we don't have a whole lot of cash left after that. All right, well, hopefully that will be useful for us. I'll go ahead and unpause. Another shell walker, which, as you guys know, our last shell walker was uh, a little tough for us to take out. Now, where, does, where should we put these supply ships? Where are they needed? I'm not sure. Let's send it, you know where they're needed. They are needed here in Zim. And we'll go ahead and send as much as possible. I think most of our defenses are up. This buy in reg has huge amounts of, has a huge amount of levels. No formant unrest. But it's not that useful. It looks like this fleet is headed to the Stone Guardian. We'll see how that goes for them. There's this fleet in YS. I'm curious what it is. It doesn't really show. Hmm, let's move it to here. Let's look at our empire. The mad scientist is coming to Bardoom. Yeah, so when we go to war with those other two, we're going to be barely breaking even because of the trade treaties 
income and tribute received income that we are going to lose when we go to war with these two. That being said, it's probably worth it. Probably. I think we should recall this spy. I wonder... Oh, the spy's here in Skulton. Can't see with this fleet anymore because it's on its way to Wombaton, it looks like. Okay, let's see. Bardoom. Where's this mad scientist? Where are they going? Oh, here. What do we have in Bardoom? We just have the marine ship. Hmm. Let's look at our defenses. We don't have a very good. Hmm, we didn't. We haven't. Uh, We haven't refitted this, which is odd, but you know, we can do that. We can fix that. All right, let's refit this. Okay, takes two months though. All right, let's do that. Okay, so what else do we want? Um, I guess guided missiles or mech spiders. Or aerial torpedoes. I guess we already have aerial torpedoes. So I guess we'll go we'll go guided missiles. Skulton defeated these dragons, but it looks like they're stuck. Hmm, that might give us an opportunity. So they have a defensive pact. I wonder if we were to... Let's make an offer. If we canceled our non-aggression pact, Canceled the research treaty and the trade treaty, and we stopped receiving tribute. I think we could, and we can receive 200. Let's make that offer. Okay, so now we're just at peace with. Skulton and then no is much weaker. So why don't we also Let's reject that and we'll make an offer cancel non-aggression pact Stop receiving tribute Cancel trade treaty And I guess receive a hundred So make that offer so now we're at peace with both and I think it looks like it looks like they're pretty weak they've got a fleet here though Hawkeye wasp killers can make it to Bardoom in one month and three days. Or we can send the claw over to Matasgar. Hmm. I think we'll send the claw over to Matasgar. And then I think we go to war. This fleet's kind of stuck here. And while they're stuck there, we can actually go to war, I think. I think this fleet could go to Orbis, I think. Yeah, and 
This fleet's a little worrisome. A little. What do we have in Ulthar? We just got the Wolf Den's Revenge. We definitely could use a fleet over here. Let's send the tailgate over. We'll send them over to... Can't quite reach Ulthar, so let's send it to Crow Lantern. And in Ulthar, let's build... Something that could help. Build a lightning, maybe? Hmm. Or triples class rocket cruiser. Let's build the triples class rocket cruiser. We'll call this the werewolf. Okay. We're down to plus 34. Not great in terms of in income. I don't think there's any place where we can add like income. Yeah, we'd have to go, hey, there's an, an, an anemone. We'd have to go and uh, probably kill some, maybe we can go kill the clockwork wasps over there. Where's our main fleet? Oh, marine APCs. Let's send them, where should we send them? I feel like Gomdar is the place. And this fleet. Can't really go anywhere yet, but maybe we can send something smaller. A couple of the aircraft carriers, maybe. The Pioneer, perhaps the Wasp's Nest or the Hornet's Nest. Or at least maybe send the Dolphin Pod to a border town. I think that's probably what we want to do. Oops, leave. So we can send the dolphin pod to Hummeling or to Pale Sea. Let's go to Hummeling. Only enough to get there. Oh, this fleet is now back on its way. One month and 17 days. How long would it take us? Two months and 14 days. Okay, so what should we do? Hmm. The Acid Trip and the Panther should be able to take out these Clockworth Wasps, which I kind of want to do, so let's do that. And let's start moving, hopefully, this fleet, no has insulted us. No, nope. we're gonna ignore him. And in the meantime, let's see, the pioneer, the wolf, the, the hornet's nest, and the tiger maybe? Can we send them Let's send them over to I think we send them to either Catbridge or to Pale Sea. Let's send them to Pale Sea. 
Actually, let's select this research first. Hmm. Let's go with selective up armoring. Leave, and then we'll send this fleet to tail Palesley, only enough to get there. Let's look at this fleet. It's pretty massive, but with the right fleet, we could probably take them. Okay, this fleet is, if we can move them to Zangor, that'd be helpful. All right, headed to the Clockwork Wasps as we typically do. We are going to start. Let's start. The acid trip has decent defenders, so hopefully they can fend off the clockwork wasps. But this clockwork wasp nest is pretty tough. I think that's all of their wasps, wasps. So we are going to just go ahead and speed things up. All right, victory is ours. We picked up 500 research and four rep. Okay. Really was hoping for some cash there, but uh, I guess we'll just have to take it. All right, these guys. Insufficient supply, so we'll go to the closest place we can go. I wonder if we can actually send a supply ship over. It would be nice if we could send a supply ship over, but uh, it doesn't look like we're able to do that. So instead, We'll see if we can send our fleet a little closer to the front. Let's send maybe the Wolf Den, the Red Lantern, the Bear Den, and uh, actually we should rename this Gatling gunboat to maybe the Saw. Okay. There's the buzz saw. Cancel. Hold on. All right, we can almost send this to Zangor. We need 109. If we dropped, maybe the. Yeah, if we dropped one of the carriers, we could get them over to Zangor. Let's go ahead and do that. I think in the next episode we will start the war. This fleet here in Lubud can do some intercepting. The rogue actually could be... We should refit the rogue. In fact, I 
think that's what we're going to do. And in fact, we'll send the rogue with the marine ships and the mech squid over to a place where they can be refitted and readied for the next war. Any easy... This fleet can't get back to the mainland, which is a little bit of an issue. They could use a supply ship. But I don't think we have one nearby. Maybe we can send one from Zim. For example, the hen might be a good idea. So we'll send the hen over to Dunferry, maybe? Dunferry is pretty far, though. Hmm. Let's send them to Coderre. Only enough to get there. Yeah, that's the hen. These guys have to wait. All right, we now have selective up armoring. Hmm. Double rocket accuracy. Seems like that would be good for us. I'm surprised we didn't go for that earlier. Oh, what happened here? Why did our income suddenly go down? Fleet maintenance, city upgrades, defenses maintenance. It's a little high. City upgrades, minus 175. Let's start maybe dropping some of these. We don't need a large shipyard, so we'll destroy the large shipyard. That'll help. Fleet Academy we might destroy. Actually, let's go through and see what we need to do to maybe... We don't really need this large shipyard, so we'll destroy that. Also don't need this university, so we'll destroy that. Let's see... Sort of thinking the field station we don't need anymore. What's our okay? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Super rack. No defense maintenance. We just have the factories, so that's okay. Fourteen unrest though. Police station here might be useful. Yeah, let's build the police station. Well, let's. The 14 unrest basically loses 14% of our income of 35. So that's like four and a half or five versus six cost. Probably not worth it. Let's take a look here. Don't think we need this field station, so we'll destroy that. Same here. Same here. We probably should have done this earlier, is get rid of stuff that we don't really need. We don't really need the 
university. Don't need the field station. Fleet Academy, I'm leaning towards keeping for now. Hmm. Field station we don't need. Actually, market here could be useful. Get rid of the field station. And Zangor. Don't need the university. We're pretty much at the end of all tech right now, so it's just about getting ready for war. We've got the market, which is good. Okay. See here, don't need the field station. Could use the market. Supply depot could be useful. Here, let's get rid of the university. In Pith, get rid of the field station. Yeah, we probably should have did this a little earlier. There's so many towns though. I wish there was a way to do this sort of en masse for all our towns and cities, but oh well, let's just go through them all. Four defense maintenance. Wonder why that is. Hold on, let's take a look. Hmm. The great fastness. I guess it's all right. It's not terrible. Okay. All right, we're down to minus five. That's, I can live with that. We do not need this small shipyard or the field station. So now we're positive, nice. Back in the red or in the black. I forget which one it is that <laughs> that means that we're back in the positive, but yeah, back in the positive. Yeah, we're just going through, seeing if there's anything we can get rid of that isn't that useful to us in each of the towns. We can get rid of the field station here. In Zybar. Okay, that looks okay. Market and support, markets and ports are always good. Sorry there hasn't been that much action these last few episodes. We're just getting ready for the final war, which is coming. I think it's going to start the next episode. We don't need this small shipyard here. We do need a market and a port. Although, I guess we could have built a supply ship here, but it's okay. We can get rid of the field station. Let's see, factories in port are good. We can get destroy the university. We can get rid of the field station. I do wonder what the anemone looks like. Curious. Maybe I'll send our golem over to check out the land anemone. Okay, let's see. I think this is where we'll end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content, please hit the like button, comment or subscribe. See you in the next one and keep on gaming.